think Theodore is feeling just a little bit emasculated right now. I mean, his mom is kind of taking over the place. And he's supposed to be the man of the house. Maybe he needs some time to himself in his study. Um, mother, where is my study? All my furniture is gone. I know, isn't it wonderful, darling? What did mama do? Mother, where did you put all my things? I understand you're going to be staying here, but you didn't need to move everything out of my study. Mother, you really should have asked me before you moved my things. Sweetheart, I know you don't want me to move your things, but this room is perfect for me. It's my study. Not Theodore, you're being quite selfish. I'm your mother. Your father has practically abandoned me onto the streets with nothing but a platinum card. Ah, <sighs> Mom, I can't deal with this right now. I'll tell you what, I'm going out. He needs to get away from his mama. Why, well, I know he's been gone for a while. Are there some things around the house that need to be taken care of? I mean, he can pay people to take care of them for him. Oh, that's right. We sent all these grapes and apple seeds home, and we have our new nectar-making machine. Ooh, it looks like some of these things are wilting. Well, I know what we'll do. We'll hire a gardener. Then our nectary will be up and running in no time. Call gardener. Uh, we are going to request service. Nice, the gardener will start at 8 a.m. Now let's send Theodore somewhere. It's mid-afternoon. Where should he go? Maybe to a nice restaurant. Just get a drink somewhere. He can forget all about his troubles. In fact, he should go to a sports bar. Mingle around the common people. And we'll take his Lamborghini. Can't believe how Mother has treated him and how Margot has accused him. Even if he did do it, she didn't need to say it. Trying to ruin everything. Oh, uh, we also need to check the mail when we get home. Cause when we get home, cause I know we got bills. On our way to the bar, Margot just got off work. Well, let's give Margot some space. I'm sure she's very confused about what Cecilia said and what Theodore said, and he doesn't want to influence her decision either way. Well, let's get inside this place. Well, this place is quite dirty, but at least no one will think to look for him here. In fact, he'll avoid all the common people and just go straight back to the VIP section. Excuse me, sir. Now let's get Theodore started off with some drinks. What about a flame and whaling? Sounds ghastly, but I'll give it a go. My goodness, your breasts are almost bigger than your bald head. Hopefully she knows how to make a good drink. You know, it's a shame. Every time Theodore goes out, he winds up going out alone or with Margo, and Margo's not here. I mean, he's kind of thin ice with Margo. I wish he had friends. Hmm, maybe he should make a friend. But with who? I'm sure there's someone we can find that he could talk to. Hmm, I wonder if his boss will want to hang out. Hey, you never know. Maybe the boss will want to hang out with him, and then he can get ahead in his career. They can talk shop with each other. Sounds like fun. He'll meet up. Sweet. Nice. Love it. Let's see. Who else? Let's like, let's get a bunch of these guys to come out. Cool, he got more people to come. He hasn't seen them since the bachelor party. And maybe he can get them to collaborate his story that he didn't cheat. Although we all know that's a lie. Hmm. I wonder who even started the rumor anyway. I know there was paparazzi, but there was only one guy in that room who saw me kiss the stripper. Maybe he's our rat. Anyway, let's turn on this TV. Okay, here comes his boss now. Oh, it's so good to see you, sir. Yes, I had a great time on my honeymoon. Tons of fun. Yes, yes, yes. Things with me and Margo are going just fine. Don't worry about us, and we're working very hard on our campaign. He can ask his own boss for a campaign donation. That's awesome. No, this guy trying to talk to me. Shut up, dude. I'm trying to get some money. <laughs> Come on. Let's ask him for the donation. I know you're my boss, but can I get a donation? <laughs> oh, his boss is down with giving him a donation. That's awesome. How much? You the boss. You should have money. $2,388. Cool. 
Okay, let's see. Well, you know what? I'll really show up for my boss, and I'll get him around the drinks, too. And we'll also order some food for everyone. Can we order, like, a group... Yeah, group serving. Um, let's order everyone some hot wings. Hot wings and beer for everybody. Let's see if there's any... Let's see if we can get some, um... Campaign donations out of this guy. Woman, I'm trying to talk to you. Why is she ignoring theater that he's not there? Like, hello, I am here. <laughs> she just clicked them off. She's like, I don't care. I have to admit, there's a lot of good-looking girls here. Theodore has his pick tonight. And all blondes, Theodore has a thing for blondes. And then here come that Lily Boo bitch. Don't let her into this club. She can't even dress. Anyway, no reason to not make some business contacts. I mean, he, this guy has come to our party many a times. Let's see if Theodore can get a donation from this guy now. Oh, he wanted to take our picture. That's nice. No one ever wants to take Theodore's picture these days. Let's get those donations. Oh, he's not interested. Aw. But we need those donations. I think that's the first time he really got turned down for donations. Well, at least all his friends are in VIP. In fact, who needs that cocktail waitress? I'll go to the VIP section. I'm always welcome there. While I'm at it, I'll buy a round of drinks for my friends and buy them some food. Only the best for the people who are with Theodore Hobbs. Now, you big-breasted bald woman, drinks are on me. I hope that wasn't rude. I was merely just giving her an accurate description. And see if she knows how to make a very good drink. Normal quality energy drink? Eh. <laughs> yeah, voila, biatch. She's like, voila, bitch. <laughs> and we want some food because it looked like his friends were getting hungry. Let's order those hot wings since the other bitch wouldn't get us no hot wings. Did she just take my drink away? Bitch, I wasn't done with that drink. Hold up. Oh, hell. I I'm just in shock right now because she just took my drink. And I'm pissed right now. I'm going to call the group to the meal. So that we can all get some food. And again, I guess I'm going to have to buy some drinks because this lady took our drinks away. I wish you could just call everyone to drinks. How come no one wants to sit with Theodore? Is it like, is it like no one wants to be sitting next to him because there's a scandal going around? They don't want to be seen with him. Theodore is so lonely. He needs a friend, someone he can really talk to and really connect with. He doesn't get that from Margo. I mean, sad but true. Oh, well, let's try ordering those drinks again. Oh, well, let Oh, his friend was real hungry. He taking a second plate of rings. That's what the food's there for. Wait, did our other friend just skip out on us? Did he eat and dash? Oh, no, that is messed up. In fact, if I think about it, I think the place is going to close in a bit. Maybe that's why he left. Cause I think it closes at 4. I want to say four, but I might be wrong. I might close at three. I don't know. We're not even going to get to enjoy these drinks he keep paying for. Oh, she said that's like on fire. That was cool. <laughs> oh, nice. What kind of drinks are these? See, is he's leaving. Maybe they close it. She put it in her ass. What did she do to it? Uh-uh. She did something. It's a mystery, all right. You see that? Crazy drink. Maybe I... Oh, it closed at three on the dot. I knew it. Dang it. He paid so much money for those drinks and didn't get to enjoy them. Oh, well, he might as well head home. At least his boss gave him a campaign donation. But you know what, though? Even though his boss seems like a cool guy, his boss still isn't his friend. It's someone he works for. He needs a friend, someone he can actually turn to and feel like they have his back. Anyway, they might as well disband this group because the night is pretty much over. Oh, his friend was here. He just, uh, w he was downstairs talking to a blonde. Well, you know what? Can't get mad at him for that. Can't get mad for him for trying to get some. Well, Theodore might as well head home. How can Theodore make friends? Maybe he could try making some friends online through Facebook or Twitter. Why not? Everyone else has social media. Why shouldn't the next leader of the free world have a Twitter or a Facebook himself? Maybe he should get on Instagram. But before we go inside the house, we have to check the mail. 
Because I'm sure we've been going, the bills have been piling up. Let's check it out. What's in there? Okay, well, no bills. That's good. Oh, Margot's in the hot tub. Maybe Theodore should try to join her? Hopefully she's still not upset with him. Well, at least she doesn't seem to mind being next to him. Maybe he should uh, get a little bit closer. Well, she seems calm enough anyway. Maybe they don't need to really talk about it. Talking about it may be a bad thing. Maybe they should just ignore the problem. I think Margot's just playing it cool because we already know. If Theodore had cheated, it really wouldn't have mattered. A divorce would not look good right now. They need to keep a united front. I'm sorry, my dear. That's just the drawbacks of a loveless marriage. You knew what you were getting into. Too late to think about it now. Anyway, Margot has to go to work soon. But I think we can quickly throw her a campaign party. She hasn't had any fundraiser parties yet. And she needs campaign donations. If Theodore really is cheating on her, then she needs to get ahead of him in the polls. And she needs to do it right away. If Margot has a say about it, she'll be the next leader of the free world. So let's start throwing that party. He thinks he's gonna pull the wool over her eye, huh? I don't think so. And why not invite all women to the party and really exploit the fact that she will be probably the first female leader of the free world? And if these women did hear the rumor that he cheated on her, then I'm sure they'll dig even deeper into their pockets to give her that campaign donation. Girls gotta stick together. The party's gonna start at 9. And of course we have to look fabulous. You know, girl. And Theodore likes this classical music, not Margot. So let's switch it up. Now I know I said this party was just for the ladies, but this fine man in this nice green car just rolled up and... I mean, if he wants to come to my party, who am I to tell him no? And if Theodore is gonna cheat on me, why get mad when I can just get even? Well, it looks like everyone's here, so let's get this party started. Hello, ladies. So good to see you. I know it's been a while. I've been in Paris. Oh, you want pictures of me? <laughs> Thank you. Vote for me, 2014 election. Now, let's work on getting some campaign donations and getting that sympathy vote. Have you heard that Theodore cheated on me? I feel wrecked about it. A campaign donation would help me feel better. $732? Okay, sympathy's not working. <laughs> yeah, there's really only one guy at this party. Thank goodness he's handsome. Anyway, let me make my rounds to the ladies. I'm trying to get campaign donations. I want to be the first female leader of the free world. Are you going to back me? Thank you, Diana. $2,154. That's what I'm talking about, girl. And not only can we give donations from them at the party, they'll also give a little something-something at the door when they walk out. Oh, and she's giving a donation? How much? It's muy importante. Oh, she's cheap. See, now I'm afraid to even find out what she gave me because she's cheap. She gave me $300? Almost $400. I'll give her that. That coat is $400. Then again, it is kind of grimy looking. It looks like girl is going through. Hold up. Her coat is grimy and grungy as hell. Her hair is so dry looking. She needs a fresh dye job. And was she wearing some sneakers? And even the bottom of her dress looks muddy. Girl, you going through. What's wrong? I'm going to have to talk to this girl. Because she looking real messed up right now. Like, she been shopping at the thrift store a little too much, okay? Why is Flo Flo keeping this sexy, sexy man all to herself? I mean, I know I'm married, but still, this is my party. I get first dibs on all the men. Oh, sweetheart, if you've noticed, I lost some weight. I've been going through so much since I found out Theodore cheated on me. She gave me $10,000. Oh, my God, I'm about to give this girl a hug. I wish I could give her a real-life hug. I'm about to give this chick a hug. Like, thank you, girl. Oh, and I gotta talk to this guy. Cause I yet to talk to him. Cause Miss Flo Flo 
was keeping him all to herself. I'm not even talking to Lily Boo. You can give me a donation on your way out the door. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, I know I got to go to work soon, but I'm trying to get this money. No carpool, sorry. I got to get this money first. <laughs> then I will tell them the party's over and they got to go home. Sweetheart, I just wanted to give you a hug. I'm so thankful for your campaign donation. $10,000, so generous of you. Now let me talk to this man before I go. Oh, what, he angry? That's his ex? I will kick her out the party. <laughs> I know, I hear the car honking. Let me talk to this man first, please. Now I know it's supposed to be bros before hoes, but Theodore cheated on me, and I would hope you would back me instead of him. It looks like he's gonna back me in the campaign. Sweet, how much he's donating. Another $10,000! Oh my... He gave me $10,000. Get over here. I will be late for work. This is well worth it. I just wanted to say thank you for your campaign donation. Mmm. Oh, yes. Now, every single woman in this room knows. Yes, I kissed Tom. And I don't care if Theodore finds out about it. And now, I'm going to drive his car to work. Now, before I talk about this, let's figure out which car Margot is going to ride in to work. I think I want to take his Porsche. So, we're making this preferred vehicle, and we're driving to work. And, of course, I'm going to work hard. I have to make up for the fact that I was late. Uh, let me pause again. Let me talk about this. So, I have the gardener mod. That's how I was able to hire a gardener. And he gardens everything for me. And he harvested everything that's in the backyard. Right? He did take everything. Yeah, he took everything. He waters the plants. He, um, I don't know if he fertilizes. I don't think he fertilizes the plants. Does he? No, he doesn't fertilize the plant. If I want to fertilize it, I would have to do that myself. But since I don't really care about the plants that much, I'm not going to worry about it. So everything is stored in the fridge. And when I click take all, it goes into my personal inventory just in case I want to use it to fertilize the garden or if I want to replant it or if I just want like a snack in my pocket or something like that. So now you know how that mod works. And I'm going to put everything back in the fridge. I just want to show you an example because usually I just let him put it in the fridge for me. And I just really love that mod. But enough of that. Margot needs to get going to work and she's looking fabulous and lovely of course. More donate. He donated another $8,578. That's because he wants that booty. <laughs> Look at Mama CC managing the bar. She waiting for someone to come so she can make some drinks. If uh, I'm not mistaken, it seems like CC is on Margot's side. But then why is she so mean to Margot? Gonna have to talk about that later. Well, obviously, since Margot's not here, the party's done. Mama Habs can tell everyone to go and thank them for coming. Thank you for coming, dear. Goodbye. Oh, and Cecilia's back from school. I'm so glad she didn't get sent off to boarding school. But she needs to come in and do her homework. Look at that. In one morning, one morning, Margot has generated... $67,173. Her campaign funds are looking real good right now. In fact, hopefully when she goes to work, she'll get promoted. Her funding's good. Her charisma's good. I think Margot has a real good shot at becoming the next leader of the free world, and she'll do it before Theodore. Theodore better be careful. Margot's gonna stab him in the back. Speaking of backstabbing, what is he up to? He is chatting with someone online. Who's he talking to? Well, whoever it is, it looks like he about to go meet them. Oh, no, he better don't. Apparently, he really is trying to meet whoever this is. I'll see you soon, my dear. What do he think he is doing? Oh, he thinking he real smooth and real slick. No, no, no. He is not. This is not good. Well, you know what? Margo was getting her life a few minutes ago. He just don't know about it, so it's okay. Do you, Theodore, because Margo is definitely going to be doing her, okay? And while she's doing her, she's also going to be stealing your job. How about that? Wherever he's going, he seems excited to get there. I can't believe he's being blatant about it, though. Chatting to girls online, making a profile. 
I mean, anyone can see that profile. They would know he's looking for someone. People know he's married, right? Oh, well, he's already taking that drive across the bridge. Okay, we're at the restaurant. Who's he going to go see? Okay, we learning stuff left and right. Number one, Margot has been promoted to vice president. Vice president, y'all. She makes $300 an hour and she got $2,124 bonus. Not only that, but that means Margot is only one, one promotion away becoming the next leader of the free world. Theodore is in trouble when it comes to his job. But now, we need to talk about the trouble that's about to be his marriage. And apparently, maybe an affair. This young lady is Isabella Ruiz. She is not only gorgeous, but she is brainy. This woman has pretty much invented every cure that some kind has ever known. She has sold those cures for tons of money. If there was ever a powerful woman, this is it. No wonder Theodore is attracted to her. But hello, Theodore. You are married. Remember, Margot? And look at this. People are around here. This is paparazzi. Well, I guess they're really not doing anything wrong. They're just talking. It says they're just friends. The paparazzi. So maybe it's innocent. But there's no denying that he has cheated before. And if this paparazzi has anything to say about it, she's going to start the rumor that he's cheating again. Well, if they're going to hang out, they better go inside where the paparazzi can't see them. Hurry up. Let's get in this restaurant. And how's things going back at home? Oh, looks like the ladies are celebrating her promotion. That is fantastic. Sweetheart, we need to have a woman-to-woman -woman talk. Oh, so Cecilia's going to get some space so they can talk. That's good. Listen, sweetheart, in my day, it was acceptable for a man to cheat on a woman just because he's in a position of power and she was just supposed to take it. But what are you saying? I'm not letting Theodore do that. Sweetheart, you're a smart girl. I can see that. A tad bit trampy with bad hair, but you're a smart girl. I know you know what he's doing. Okay, so I admit it. He cheats on me. But it's okay. No, <laughs> seriously not. Look, you don't have to stand his shadow, sweetheart. You're already surpassing him. Just keep doing what you're doing. And if he's going to keep cheating on you, just have a drink and forget about it. But then, plot your revenge. <laughs> you're absolutely right, Cece. Thank you. And change your shirt. It's very tacky. What's wrong with my shirt? Aw, Cece's not as mean as she seems. She may be as drunk as she seems, but she's not as mean. Let's check back up on Theodore, hanging out with his friend Isabella. Well, it looks like they had a lovely time at dinner. I have to admit, they do make a gorgeous couple. Isabella, I had a wonderful time with you tonight. Oh, Theodore, I had a great time too. Oh, but the paparazzi's watching us. Listen, I don't care about the paparazzi. I only care about being here with you. Oh, Theodore, that's so sweet. So I would really like to do this again sometime. I mean, if you wouldn't mind. Listen, Theodore, I know you're married. I know, I know. And I don't want to come between the two of you. Listen, Isabella. I've noticed you before, and I've always thought you was gorgeous. But I was with Margot. But Margot and I aren't really happy. If you aren't happy, then why did you marry her, Theodore? Tell me that. I married her for political reasons. I need to look like a family man while I was campaigning. So your whole marriage is a fraud. You have no love for each other. Well, don't get me wrong. I do care about her quite a bit. But it's more of a friend's thing. We don't have chemistry. Not like you and I have. I can sense it. Theodore, this is so confusing, and the paparazzi's watching. We really shouldn't be doing this here. Fine, fine. Then let's go somewhere. I know a beautiful resort we can go to. We'll have the whole place to ourselves, I promise. Theodore, this is very confusing. I don't want to be involved with a married man. Think of my reputation. Just please say I can see you again. 
or at least call me, text me, tweet me. I'm on Instagram now. Yes, Theodora, we can be friends. Okay, good. And if you really say that you and Margo are pretty much over, then I'll consider talking to you romantically. Okay, well, Theodore got his own story going on. Well, he better get on home. It is 2 a.m. and he has to go back to work tomorrow. And he needs to get home and tell Margo exactly what's going on before she finds out on the gossip blogs. I know Cecilia and Cece would love to break the news to her. Oh, Margo's in Theodore's game room. Well, he should probably get up here and talk to her. Margo, my dear, we need to talk about something serious. Do you have a moment? Sure, Theodore. I have some things I need to say to you, too. Well, let me go first. I have to admit, Cecilia was telling the truth. I did cheer on you on the bachelor party. I'm sorry. Theodore, I already knew that. You honestly think I didn't see the gossip blogs? So wait, so you knew, but you were still going to send away Cecilia? Why? She's your daughter. She was going to blow our scam of a marriage. So you think our marriage is a scam as well? Theodore, you're a very nice man, very handsome, but we don't have chemistry. You're right. There's no spark. Exactly. Now, I have to admit, I have cheated on you as well. Hope you're not upset. No, I suppose I'm not. So here's the thing. We can both have our separate people. But we just can't be seen in public with them. Well, I may have already broke that rule then. I went on a date tonight. See, this is what I'm talking about, Theodore. We need to stand and make a united front. You're right, dear. Absolutely right. United front. It sounds like a real plan. Exactly. And you know, once the election's over, we can go our separate ways. Yes, once I'm elected leader of the free world, we will separate. Um, I'm sorry, when I'm elected leader of the free world, then we can separate. N uh, no, when I am elected leader of the free world. What are you talking about, Margo? Theater, you've been too busy with your little whores to realize I'm winning this campaign. I was elected right behind your back to vice president. What? When did this happen? It happened today. Although I am upset with you, I have to admit, I like it when you play dirty. I know you do. So then we're in agreement. We keep this charade of a marriage going until one of us becomes the leader of the free world. Exactly. You play good husband, I'll play good wife. Whoa, okay. So that was interesting. And now they both have to go to work in a few hours. They haven't even gotten sleep. This is crayfish. But hey, at least they're both in agreement on it. <laughs> well, their carpool doesn't come for seven hours. He needs to get ahead in the polls again because Margo is whipping his ass. Okay, we got our guest list. And I figure since the truth is already out, there's no reason we can't have Isabella at the party. It's going to start at nine. Have fun trying to beat me in the polls, Theodore. I'm going to go get ready for work. So people for the party should definitely be here soon. Yes, people are already starting to show up for the party. And there is Isabella. Look at that dress and her hair and her shoes. Ooh, girl, look at them shoes. I'm sorry, I got to stop focusing on shoes so much. Let's start making the rounds, start getting some donations. Ooh, we got $10,000 from Richie Stryker. Fantastic. Hey, you never know. Theodore might actually be able to catch up with Margo. But she's always going to be a few steps ahead of him. Ooh, Margo is down here trying to get donations too. Crafty, crafty girl. Seriously, Margo is really getting donations from these people. But this is Theodore's party. Well, he's going to have to get to them before Margo does. Haha, <laughs> they only gave her $18 though. Nice going, Margo. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. I missed out on getting $18. Now, let's keep making the rounds. That was kind of pathetic, Margo. Just a little bit. Big Hartley just gave him $10,000, too. Now, let's talk to Sugar. She gave Margo $10,000. Maybe she can get Theodore $10,000, too. Their carpool's coming soon. And, of course, he needs to talk to Isabella before she goes. Hmm, I wonder if Isabella would be willing to make a campaign donation. 
Yes, another 10,000. Now his is at 30,000. And the party's not even over yet. Fantastic. Hello, Isabella. How are you, dear? Oh, I'm doing quite fine, Theodore. Nice to see you. Wow, Isabella even donated 10,000. Oh, that's his girl. I mean, his friend. Friend. Friend, friend, friend. They're just friends. We gotta talk to a few more people before we go to work. Well, at least everyone's having a good time and mingling. Maybe he can get those last few donations before they have to go to work. So, would you be interested in donating to my campaign fundraiser if you haven't already donated to Margot? No, I haven't donated to Margot. I will definitely donate to you. Well, this means I got another donation, $2,000. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to talk to Jeffrey because we have to get to work. Theodore can't afford to be late to work. Oh my goodness, is that what he's planning on wearing to work? Seriously, that suit is god-awful. We may have to take him to a stylist later. If this is how he's trying to portray himself with his new image now that he's back at work, that's not the right look. I mean, I know Margot switched up to her style, but at least she switched it up to something good. Anyway, he's already late, so he needs to hurry up. You better work hard, Theodore. You know Margot will be. People are starting to leave the party and they're bringing in more donations. And of course, even though Cecilia's in school, and of course, since Cecilia's in school, the only one home is Cece. And she is just relaxing in her bed. I want to know exactly who this man is that keeps in her little love letters. Also, that's her little boy toy. And he's just as snobby as she is. Look at that. Isabel left another $7,800 to the campaign donations. That's fantastic. Look at Cece on the phone with her little boy toy. Maybe that's the real reason her and daddy have, have separated. Well, you know what? Can't knock her hustle, because she is still getting some. You go, Cece. Margot has the opportunity to illegally take money out of the political campaign fund. Will she do it? Now, I know Theodore has, but would Margot do that? Well, you know what? She has to beat Theodore at his own game. So you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to take it. <gasps> Uh-oh. I don't like that music. That's bad music. And she only made $289. What happened? <gasps> Someone discovered that Margot has been stealing from the campaign fund. Crime has cost Margot her career. <gasps> Margot has just been fired. O-M-G. Margot has just disgraced herself. Oh no, the paparazzi's already out here taking the story. She has to get out here before they can take any pictures. I can't believe this happened. Theodore has been taking money out of his campaign fund for years and has never gotten caught. Wait, hold up. They want Margot to be a criminal? No, we won't do that, no. The first time Margot does it, she gets caught and gets fired. That's ridiculous. It's totally unfair. Well, now Margot's out of a job. What's she gonna do now? And she was so close to getting everything she ever wanted. I feel really bad for her. I truly, truly do. Well, she can get the mail. I mean, she could get her job back, but she'd have to start from the bottom. Oh my goodness, are these wedding gifts? Wedding gifts, yay! Love wedding gifts. Well, at least she feels a little bit better now that she's donated. I know Margot must be feeling down about losing her job, but there's nothing she can really do about it. And even if she tried to go back to her old business career, she'd go back to a starting level. This is horrible. I mean, soon she won't even be a married woman. Theodore now has no one running against him to become the leader of the free world. Once he gets there, he's going to divorce her. Then what? She'll go back to being a single mother, twice divorced, without a job. No, she has to do something. Well, it looks like Cecilia's home from school. I bet Cecilia can't wait to throw into her mother's face that she was absolutely right about everything and tell her mom what a big idiot she was. Mom, I heard what happened and I just want to say sorry. Really, sweetheart? Yeah, I'm really sorry. I mean, I still want to say I told you so, but I won't. I'm really sorry that you lost your job, Mom. I know you worked really hard. I did, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm just happy you're not throwing it in my face. No problem, Mom. 
Oh, someone's calling Margo. Who the heck is that? Hello, Margo has. Apollo Bloom wants to know if Margo would like to go on a date? Sure, I'll be there soon. Graveyard? He wants to go on a date at a graveyard? Well, this will be interesting, to say the least. Well, I'm glad Cecilia was being so nice to her mother, especially since her mom's going through a hard time. And now that Theodore's out of work, he's heading on home. And now that he's running for leader of the free world unopposed, he can get to that vice president position with no problem. He just needs to work on his charisma. So he needs to get started on that as soon as he gets home. So let's get him on his podium so he can start practicing speech. And let's follow Margo on this date to the cemetery. Okay, she's here and she's by the bench. Where is this guy? Seriously, where is this guy? It is dark as hell. I see no one here. Wait, she's going to go listen to music? But where? Oh, in this mausoleum. Oh, there's a bar down here. But where's her date, though? He said to meet here. Well, I have no clue where her date is at, but hey, there's a bar. Hey, might as well order a drink until this guy shows up, if he ever does. I'm feeling in a black mood, so I'll be having a black mood drink. Bring me a black mood bartender and keep them coming. You know, she really felt bad and just wanted a drink. She could have just hung out with Cece at home. Yeah, Cece would never have spilled alcohol. So theater is working on his speech and he's trying to figure out all the right words to say. And I have to admit, he sounds good. But with that suit, he just looks bad. To be honest, his whole look is kind of dated. We definitely do need to take it to a stylist. He needs new suits, new shoes, new slogans. He just needs to turn his whole image around. I mean, just because Margot's out of the polls doesn't mean it's a sure win that he will become the leader of the free world. People still think of him as a cheater who looks down on people. And all those things are true, but he has to fix his image. Theodore has the next two days off of work. Over these next two days, he needs to be working on his charisma nonstop. Funding, nonstop. No more stealing from the campaign fund. They have enough money as it is. Not only that, he needs to work on his style and his personal image. So we're going to take him to a stylist. We're going to get him all new suits. Make him look really tailored and nice. Not only that, we're going to make people think he's really a person of the people. So, right now, while we still have time, we are going back down to City Hall. And we are going to donate to the Plan the Future Fund. And we are going to donate $50,000. If this doesn't change people's view of him, nothing will. Not only that, I think we should hold another fundraising party. But theater's parties are sometimes a little bit boring and stuffy. So we're going to give it a theme. And I'm thinking masquerade party. Everyone should look gorgeous at this party. Now let's donate to the Future Fund. Woo, Theater just donated $50,000 to the Future Fund. They gotta know he's a man of the people now. Cause he doesn't just care about the future. Cause he doesn't just care about pre- He doesn't just care about present Sims. He care about Sims of the future as well. This is really gonna make him go up in polls. But now he needs to head on home, have something to eat, take a shower, and go on to bed. Cause tomorrow, he starts planning to take over the world. That's right, Theodore Haves, you are on your way. Well, it's early the next morning, but Theodore needs to get up. I want him to go straight to the salon. And since Marco's out of a job, I suggest she gets on the computer. She needs to do some job hunting. So while Margo is busy job hunting, we are gonna take we are gonna take Theodore's career to the next level. Let's get him over to the salon so he can have a consultation with a stylist. Cause he needs to revamp his image. And maybe some new clothes and a new do can help me with that. Then again, I love his classic gelled back cereal bowl hair. We need something to make him look much more approachable. Like a man of the people. Although we all know he's not good at that. Let's get over to that salon. Okay, here we go. Let's head on inside. Now let's get him in front of this mirror so he can get a makeover. We need him to look young yet wise. Oh yeah, you know you look good. Don't worry, that tummy, we can get it liposuctioned. In fact, Mason plastic surgery will brighten up his face. 
Now, this outfit looks much better than that blue suit he was wearing to work. This is much more what a young, successful, sexy politician should be dressing like. I also decided to change his everyday outfits because even though his old ones weren't that bad, I just thought he needed a new, fresh look. Blue is really his color. And this is also why I gave him a blue suit for his political fundraisers. I thought this was something different from that black and red suit. And if you notice, I even darkened up the blonde of his hair a little bit and took out some of the dark depthness of his eyebrows. And I just think he looks so much more dreamier this way. Oh yeah, he loves his new look. Very nice. Now, since he has a day off, I think he needs to head back home. His funding looks great, but we still need to work on his charisma. So he needs to get home, get on that podium, and start practicing his speeches. Hey, all the ladies are making eyes at him now. They're loving his new look. But there's only one lady he's thinking of, and it's not even Margot. In fact, he should try and see Isabella today if he gets the chance. But career comes first. He needs to start thinking about his political career more. So now we're home, let's get him on that podium. So now that he's home, let's get him on this podium so he can start practicing his speech. It's so loud here, why does everyone insist on turning on all the radios? And how's Margot's job hunt going? Well, it obviously can't be going too good because she's too busy on the gossip blogs. And she's on SimTube. Get off of there. Now let's get her on some serious job hunting. Let's go. Hmm, film, background, extra $21. That's not going to pay the bills. Science, test subject, $48 an hour. That's not too bad. Latrine cleaner in the military, $40 an hour. Music, $25 an hour. Podium polisher. <sighs> when she said she wanted to get back into politics, this wasn't exactly what she meant. And as she's looking on ads online, there's nothing available for her. Margot's job prospects are not looking good. It's like she's been blackballed. I guess everyone knows she was stealing from the campaign fund. Well, one good thing, we're still partners at the business complex. And we can buy out the property. How about we do that, especially before theater has the chance to tell us no? Well, maybe Margot doesn't need a job. If she's making money off of the business complex, well, then she really wouldn't have to work, would she? She can just be collecting checks. It's not a bad idea. She'll buy out this business. The only problem is now is that that business is in both Theodore and Margot's name. And when they divorce, the court will have to decide who it belongs to. Maybe she can talk theater into letting her keep it. You know, as a parting gift from their marriage. I'm sure he can oblige her with that. I mean, especially if he's going to be the leader of the free world. I'm sure he'll be able to spare it. So I guess that's the plan then. We buy this place out and then we talk to Theodore about retaining full ownership of it. Theodore's still working on his charisma. But at least he's trying to get it. He's anxious to advance in his career. I'm anxious for him to advance too. Yes, Margot is now officially the owner. Now, doesn't he look even more handsome on that podium? My goodness. He looks so good. But Theodore has been working on the podium, and he finally made it to level 8. And even though his charisma is not exactly perfect, it's still enough to get him promoted. Well, now he should be able to take some time for himself. I wonder if Isabella is home. Yeah, looks like she is. Let's go visit her. I know he can't wait to see Isabella. It's been a while since their last date. What has Margot so happy? She's just dancing by the pool. Well, I suppose I'll talk to her about that later. Now, off to see my lady Isabella. Well, let's ring the bell, see if she comes. Ah, oh, it seems like she's coming to get us now. Looks like she was hanging out in her jacuzzi. Ah, oh, here comes Isabella now. Hello, my dear. Hello, Theodore. Come on in, Theodore. Right behind you. You look lovely today, Isabella. Oh, well, thank you, Theodore. Oh, I've missed you so, Isabella. Oh, Theodore, I've missed you too. So I told Margot everything, and she agrees with me. Wait, she agrees that your marriage was a fraud? 
So wait, she knows about us? Yes, I told her. Everything's out on the table. Yes, I'm free to date you. Just not publicly, of course. Not until after the election. Oh, Theodore, I'm so happy that you told her about us. And I don't feel so bad about this. You really do make me very happy. You make me happy as well. I have something for you. Oh, flowers? Theodore, that's so sweet. I have to confess, I've been thinking about you all day. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> now, obviously, I have to get back home, campaigning and whatnot, but I hope to see you again soon. Of course, Theodore. Come over any time. Oh, I'll miss you until I see you again. Come back soon. Oh, look at Theodore putting on the charms. But he does have to get home, because he is already tired, and tomorrow he's going to throw a big party. This is going to be his big fundraiser to show off the new him. More fun, more approachable, and mother! Seriously, mother? What if the neighbors could see you? Oh, fine, Theodore. Ruin all my fun. I think everybody needs to get to bed because this party isn't just about Theodore. He's going to have to continue playing up the family man card. And that means everybody needs to be at that party being presentable and acting polite. Cecilia, I am talking to you, young lady. Tomorrow we're going to make sure her hair is done, she is not wearing black, and we're going to take out all those piercings. Obviously, we had to do some damage control because Margot has been fired, but that shouldn't be anything too tough to handle. As long as they keep a united front, everything should be fine. And hopefully by this time next week, Theodore will be the leader of the free world. So it's the next morning and Theodore is waking up and I think everyone's going to enjoy the plan for today. So tonight we're having a masquerade ball to show off our family. But before that, since it's Sunday and no one has a job to go to, we are going to go to the Renaissance Fair. We are going to go to the Renaissance Fair in town. But first, Margot and Theodore have some business they need to discuss. Sweetheart, I went and brought out that business complex. Now, I want to know, when we divorce, will that be protected as one of my assets? Of course, I wouldn't take that away from you. Well, at least you're being reasonable, Theodore. Thank you very much. No problem, sweetheart. I know you're not working right now. That's your income. See, that was easy enough. And I think Theodore can be a man his word. Well, I guess not when it comes to marriage, but with everything else. So let's get on across the bridge, and we're going to go to the Renaissance Fair. Come on, everyone. Let's get ready to go. It's going to be a nice family fun day. You two could have dressed up a little bit more casual. Oh, oh well. Oh, Cecilia, what's wrong? You're going to love the Renaissance Fair. Believe me. You're going to feel like you're playing one of your video games you love. Now, come on, everyone. Let's get in the car and let's go. Off to the Renaissance Fair. Here we go. We're all here. Let's head on inside. This place looks cool. But now that we're all here, what should we do first? Ooh, archery. We should do some archery. Come on, you guys are going to love this. Theodore, is there no bar here? Where's the bar? Ooh, here's the bar. Oh, goodness, the bar's not open. Oh, well, I guess I have to make my own drinks then. How's archery going? Ooh, not bad. Ooh, nice. Ooh, they can actually serve food on these grills. That's cool. This is the first time they've all actually hung out as a family. It's kind of nice. Oh, theater, I'm glad we're doing this. I wonder if paparazzi will show up. Hopefully so. Oh, so is hanging out in the little jungle gym area. That's cool. I guess she just wanted to get away from the family for a bit. Well, she should come on down. We're going to make some drinks. Here you go, darling. Don't worry. That one's on the house. Oh, Cece, this is delicious. Thank you. Were you a bar pretender back in your day? Oh, no, darling. But I've been sneaking into Father's liquor cabinet ever since I was a little girl. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had opened up my own bar. 
a posh little lounge to hang out in, but uh, I guess I'm too old for that now. Oh, no, you're not. You're an amazing mixologist. Oh, well, thank you, dear. I do try. You know, nothing really fancy. Here you go. Oh, those drinks are good. But you know what? You shouldn't be drinking on an empty stomach, so let's get everyone something to eat. Well, the woman left her post. Oh, well, screw you, lady. We'll make something over at the community grill. We'll have some vegetarian grilled salmon. Ooh, watch out. There's a snake in the grass. And I'm not talking about Theodore. <laughs> Ooh, look like Cecilia's gonna try and catch it. Ooh, she got it. Wow, look at that. Cecilia got herself a new pet. I wonder how Theodore's gonna feel about snake in his house. Ooh, that food looks good. Oh, yeah, can't wait to eat that. Oh yeah, let's all get something to eat. And after this, we'll head back on home for the masquerade party. Well, this has been a very nice day out, don't you all think? Oh yes, dear. A few drinks in me and I can enjoy any moment. I hate to say it, but I had fun too. But I want to get back home. Well, okay then. If everyone's ready, we can head back in the car and go home. They did have a nice day out, but Cecilia's right. It is time to start heading home. We got to start planning the masquerade party. Come on in the car, Cecilia. We're heading home. Okay, we're back home, so let's start planning the party. Time for you to start inviting people, theater. Get on your phone. So we're going to make it a campaign fundraiser. And later on, we'll turn on the Partyist Maximus statue so we can turn it into a masquerade party. We went as soon as possible, and we also want to make the attire formal. Now let's start making our guest list. Okay, so we made a big guest list, and it even includes Isabella. Hopefully Margot's not offended by that, but she shouldn't have a problem. We even invited a few guys for her to talk to. And the party's going to start at 5. That gives us less than an hour. We have to start getting changed. If this party is a success, he'll be leader of the free world in no time. Even Maid is happy. So let's turn on the Partyist Maximus statue. And we're going to change the attire to Masquerade. Let's all start changing into our outfits now. Everybody looks fantastic. And everyone's here, so let's get on the music. Yeah, time to party. Come on, let's mingle. Don't all the ladies look great in their dresses? And everyone's mask is really nice. Ooh, Cece is living right now. Oh, I am loving Cece's dance moves right now. Go, Cece. And other people are getting into it, too. That's right, put on a mask and start dancing. I'm glad so many people are getting to the spirit of a masquerade party. Well, while Theodore is having fun dancing, it's time for him to start making the rounds. He needs to get those campaign donations. And I'm sure he wants to get a chance to talk to Isabella. But first thing first, he needs to get some campaign donations. Okay, Theodore, time to work the room. Ooh, and Isabella changed into her formal wear and put on her mask. She looks really pretty. Who is this girl being so rude to her, though? I don't like that at all. She will be escorted off the premises if that keeps up. Wow, another 10000 from Sugar. Thank you, Sugar. Theodore's making the rounds, and he seems to be making a killing right now. Oh, no. Whatever that woman said, it caused Isabella to leave. Well, we can't leave the party now. We'll have to call her tomorrow and see what happened. His campaign fund is through the roof right now. They actually have more money in that fund than they have in the bank right now. But it's okay. Things are going to be good. Look how much money he's making. And Cece and Margo are even mingling and trying to help get donations as well. And Cece just can't stop getting out autographs. <laughs> Look at that. Another $10,000 donation. Theodore has over $150,000 in the bank. And he's still working in the room. And of course he'll get more donations once everyone leaves too. I don't know if it's because of Theodore's new look, or the fact that Theodore is really showing himself off as a family man, 
or maybe just because this is one of the best parties Theodore's ever thrown. But right now he's a shoe in for leader of the free world. Another $10,000 donation. Oh my goodness. This is fantastic. I wish we could keep this party going all night long because we're doing great. I think we've actually talked to everyone we can. I think we pretty much got a donation out of everyone that's here. Which is actually good because everyone's starting to leave. And it is starting to get kind of late. And they do have to go to work in the morning. He might as well break up the party. Yeah, everyone's starting to get tired. I don't blame them. We've been dancing all night. While this party was fun, it has to end sometime. But make sure you leave those donations before you walk out the door. Yes, another 5000 Well, now that everyone's leaving, we can turn off the party as Maximus statue. Sweetheart, your party was a success, and I used to think you were such a bore. Well, thank you, mother. Well, Theodore has to go to work in the morning, so he needs to get in bed. And I can't wait to see how Theodore's next day at work goes. <laughs>